Yo, YouTube, what's up? This your boy Christopher Wright back again with another video. I know it's been a long time, but I had some changes. I had some things I need to do, knock out the way, but I'm back with you. Uh, so right now, um, before we get started into this video right here, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Why don't you like this video? And why don't you make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you leave any comments or questions or anything that you want to add or want me to, to, to search up, to to answer whatever you need me to do. I'll do it just for you. All right, so just make sure y'all hit that like button and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. All right, so to the nit of the video, okay? Um, I know y'all looking at me like, yo, what's, what's different about this dude? It didn't change up? Yes, I didn't change up. So the locks I had in my previous video, I, I no longer exist. Um, I had those locks combed out. Yes, I had those locks, com them locks combed out. And now I have a new set. Um, the reason I did that is because I was I just kept contemplating about it, you know. Um, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the process, and I think I, I ended them up like seven months. That was seven months, seven months. So uh, seven months of growth, seven months of of locking. Um, they looked it pretty good. Don't get me wrong, they looked it good, but I wanted more medium size to large size locks and um what's always been in my mind like i always liked the two strand twist the two strand twist was something big that i always wanted to do but at that particular time it wasn't on my mind at that moment and i just wanted to get them started and when i told my loctician i told her that i wanted medium size um size locks with the medium size parting and some of them were and then some of them were small but you know how that go um so i had to deal with that and i let them go um on the fact that i was just hoping that they would get thicker they would grow and expand and get thicker and so some of them, majority of them did don't get me wrong majority of them did but there were still some that i feel like weren't gonna last years later down the line you know because they were just too small at the root and it was just like it, i knew it wasn't gonna hold on because i've had my first set of locks and i already know <laughs> dealing with that it wasn't a problem dealing with those but it's just down the line a lot of retwisting and i was kind of maintenance maintenance and then those locks um kind of frequently so um i decided this round and also the previous round to go freeform, semi-freeform. So I'm freeform, semi-freeform these locks, sorry about that. But I'm a semi-freeform these locks and I just wanna see what it does. Like, I wanna see how we're gonna come out with this. And right now I do have two strand twists in and right now we're going on a month. Yeah, just about a month, about a month. About a month with these locks. And I know they don't look fresh. I know they out of whack. I know they're just like all over the place. You know what I mean? But the true strand twist. And somebody look at my old video. Look at my previous video with the pictures on the show. And you might be like, but they look different. They're different. Because I, I, I combed them out. And the way I combed them out, I did them, you know, the best way I can to retain a lot of my hair. Um, I had my homegirls do it because I wasn't about to sit there and do it. I promise you, I wasn't about to sit there to do it. Sit there and do it. And plus, we did it. We knocked it out in one day. We knocked it out in one day. And I think the second day, I went in and kind of just like made sure everything was like split apart, made sure everything was combed out, made sure everything was washable, um, so it wouldn't tangle up. Because with my hair, water hits it, soap hit it, it tangles up and it gets difficult. And I knew I was going to wash my hair with all that. And then plus the conditioner and everything in my hair. What we used to comb it out. Um, but it took us a day. And then that next day I made sure that everything was, was good. So I retained a lot. My hair pretty much looked like. <laughs> <coughs> looked like the size it was when I first started. But that's my hair though. My hair is. is, is it's a 4C. It's very kinky. And it's very, you know, very tangled. Like, it get tangled up a lot. 
it's semi thick, not thick, you know, not that thick. I still have medium size. Uh, uh, man, I forgot what the uh, the texture is, but I I get that I get that information for you in another video. But um, yeah, but my hair it crinkles up a lot and it can lock up very quickly, very quickly, and it don't it does not take any time. But I have like this my hair sponges <laughs> like it, my fro could be right out here. And then by the time water hits it, boom, it's here. But then when I get blowouts, when I used to get blowouts and things like that, and they blow dry my hair and comb it out, man, it would be long. Like, my hair would be this long and stuff. So, like, you can't really tell with my hair. But, um, so we was able to do that, and I got one, another one of my homegirls uh, start the two-strand two twist for me. And uh, we got that started, as you can tell. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all a little 360 view. And know when I get through showing y'all this view, you're going to have questions. But what the heck is going on with this boy? the problem so guys as you can tell and uh, in my previous videos and guys I do have a set of videos that I I went ahead and videotape recorded but I didn't post them yet onto YouTube I had a little malfunction and I didn't post them but what I'm going to do is post them videos find a way to finish those videos out post them in and then come back so you can see um, what I was talking about and what I'm talking about in those videos as well. As you see my first video as I updated about my channel. is so I have traction alopecia at the top of my head right here as you can see. Now some say man why are you even growing your hair? Cut your hair. Whoop -de -whoop. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Because the reason is because it was way worse than what it is now. And I'm going to show you in another video and we can get all into nitty gritty of it. But I'm going to show you in another video of why. But uh, the reason is, man, uh, because I, it actually started growing a lot more. The things, the regimen that I started using on a daily basis uh, started to allow my hair to grow back. You know, the things I've been doing to take care of my hair allow it to grow back. So I'm going to keep the journey going. And I still have my previous locks still. They're very old, but I still got some thick previous locks that I will have. So when they do grow in, I can get those attached. I can get those worked in. And we're going to be good. We're going to be good. You know what I mean? We'll just do what we have to do. But at the end of the time, like I said in another video, I explained a little bit more about the alopecia and what happened and why that is. But a lot of people don't have my challenge. And a lot of people want... And this may this video may not be for everybody. This video is more for the people who do have alopecia or traction alopecia and still want to grow their locks. But at the end of time, at the end of the day, um, I still have a lot of information about locks and a lock journey. And I just want to share that with you guys. I hope y'all get an insight, inspiration, some information off of that. And <clears throat> It's going to be fun. It's going to be unique and to see where my maturity goes as far as my hair growing in, my locks expanding, getting thick. And this go, I wanted to make sure that my my locks are very thick. You know, I didn't want to have stupid big locks. If I didn't, if I counted correctly, I think I have 55 locks in so far, I think. But we'll see. We'll see. As everything grows, then we'll see. We'll get that count again. But I think that's what I got. I think that's what I got. I did some little count, but it wasn't it wasn't precise. So um, we'll get that checked out. We we'll get that worked out, and I could I could do that for you guys. Um, but right now, man, I just want to let you know, like these. Hopefully, these are my final. I believe in them. Like I'm not I'm not changing. The way that these will come out, the way that they be, I'm sticking with them. I'm not combing them out. I'm not doing that. I'm not cutting my hair. I'm not doing that. I'm going to deal with them. I'm going to deal with them. I think it's going to be an awesome journey, though. It's going to be a dope journey. It's going to be an awesome journey. Journey Because, like I said, I know that the two-strand twist 
expands your hair a little bit more. And through my research, I've had cone coils uh, three times and for three sets. And I see a difference in the two strand twist. And I've seen people start off with very small two strand twists and their hair still becomes full enough to where the root is thick and it's, you have a good foundation and the shaft of the lock is just thick enough. And with the palm, with the uh, cone coils, now a lot of people, depending on your hair type, a lot of people can get real thick through cone coils. Mine, mine was like the go that I have, the, the set of locks that I just combed out, they were actually getting there. But like I said, some of them, a great deal of them up front were not. And then a great deal of them in the back were. So I was just like, ah, it was just bothering me. And um, I just wanted to do something about it. So I did this route. And we're going to see what's up with this journey, guys. We're going to see what's up with this journey right here, man. And I hope you guys stick around. And I hope y'all love your boy enough to where you hit that subscribe button. Like the video. And make sure you hit that notification bell so we can... So I can, you can be notified on every video that comes in, guys. I love y'all, man. And we're going to keep this thing rolling. And hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hopefully y'all get some insight, some inspiration. Hopefully y'all can motivate y'all to keep keep going if you do have this condition. Or have traction alopecia or any type of alopecia. And on another video, I will show you the products that I use to maintain this growth. And to maintain what I'm trying to do. And we're going to see. And I give you a uh, monthly monthly um progressions but in between those months i will give y'all a little bit more lock information on some things that i found out the things that i found out that work for me and maybe work for a lot of others but guys i'm gonna end this video i'll see you next time peace